Hi, welcome to another video on BandLab, um, specifically looking at the BandLab for Education um, version of this program. Um, here I've had quite a few questions and messages and the odd email to do with this latency feature where um, people have a little bit of trouble with it. Um, so the issue that I'm addressing here is feedback when trying to use the latency test. This is something that absolutely sounds nasty and can be tricky to troubleshoot if you don't know a few key little rules in using mics and speakers and things like that. So let's get into this one. Okay, so here we're in the mixer. Okay, so this is a standard place. If you're asking questions about latency tests, you're pretty familiar with most of these things. So um, if you want to know an in-depth video on how to use um, the latency test, go check out the link. There should be one nearby popping up. So over here, we've got the latency test. And here we go. So the first issue um, I find, or one of the two issues, is to do with how you're connecting up your microphone. Okay, in my scenario, I've got a mic going into an interface. So let's go over to my next view. So here I've got my interface here. It's the Behringer 404 HD. I'll have a link for it in the description if you want to go check out getting one. Um, so I've got my microphone plugged into my first channel over here. Um, I've got it turned up. And then over here, I've got some controls that are relevant to quite a few different mixes, okay? Um, this top one is co often called a mix knob. And this mix knob adjusts the volume between the computer as being the source, sound going through the mixer, that, that comes out to the speakers, or it's the actual interface's direct mic input, or inputs coming straight out the speakers, like a, a regular mixer would be if you're doing a, um, a performance or something like that. Okay, so at the moment I've got my mix knob turned all the way to the right and it's the sound only coming out of my computer that will be coming through that. Um, and at the moment there's no sounds coming out of my computer as far as this microphone is concerned, the way I've got it set up. Um, but if I was to turn it, the mix knob the other way, which I'll do now, okay, so I've got that one there. Let's turn it all the way around the other way. So now this is acting like a mixer. And when I take the microphone over to it, we're going to have a nasty noise. At the same time, I'll turn up the knob underneath it. This is my main master volume. Okay, so we heard... A bit of feedback there so that's probably the worst type of feedback that you can get uh, that particular sound so that's where I've got the microphone um, source going straight into the little mixer and it's coming straight out of the mixer to my speaker so it's a direct line straight through and it's, so it's taking my microphone into the speaker and just looping it over and over and over again Okay, that's something we don't want to do. So now I've turned it all the way back to the other way. Now if I do the same thing. Absolutely nothing happened. So I've got it turned over to the computer source at the moment now. Um, and so there's no direct sound as if it was a live mixer. Okay, so now if I go and do that um, latency test... There we go, it didn't catch the first clip on the first time. And if I try and do it with it turned over the other way, it's just going to be a disaster. It might be very quick. Now, why didn't it work? Because I don't have my computer source going out to my speaker on that occasion so there was no sound happening if I made a click which I'll do again so let's turn it on put it over near the microphone turn it on okay so we very quickly get that noise 
Anyway, moving on. So that's the first one. So watch out if you've got the uh, mix knob turned the right way in getting a feedback loop. So the next one, which I want to go back to the other view, is where you've got the monitoring. Okay, so this monitoring, I've had some people have this on while doing the latency test. You don't want to have this on unless you're wearing headphones. I'm not wearing any headphones, so we're going to have issues. If you are wearing headphones, this shouldn't be a problem. You should be able to complete the latency test while wearing headphones. So now, if I turn this on, and I've got and monitoring, monitoring on, on. You're, you're now, now hearing, hearing um, it, it come, come through, through as a delay, delay through, through my, my speakers. speakers. Okay, okay, so, so if, if I, I now go, go and, put and put this up against the microphone, microphone or the or speaker, speaker up against, against the microphone, the microphone we're, we're going to have, have an issue. issue. Okay, okay, so, so we've, we've got, got a, a different, different sort of, of delay, delay there. there. Okay, so just turn the monitoring off. Um, so this is where it's sort of getting that initial sound and it's still a feedback loop, slightly different sound, where it was pulsing that same signal again and again and again and again. Okay, so um, whenever you've got the monitoring, make sure it's turned off unless you're wearing headphones. So let's try that um, latency test. With, let's turn it on, the monitoring, monitoring. On. on. Okay, that was nasty, wasn't it? Hopefully I can fix that up in post-production. It doesn't blow your heads off uh, with that one. So, hopefully... That's been helpful. Let's get out of that one. Hopefully that's been helpful in you understanding how to use this latency test to avoid having the feedback. Um, and hopefully I've made it obvious to wear headphones when using the monitoring. Um, and think about what sort of gear and interfaces you're using when connecting up your microphone so that you can be success successful with this. Um, in my testing of this one as well um, you don't have to use an interface you can use headphones and those cheap little microphones um, on like what you use with your telephones the microphones on the lead um, that works fine with this and you can do the latency test with that one when using your laptop speakers if that's the only microphone you've got um, so yeah hit me up with any other questions don't forget to subscribe um, so you can know about any more videos I happen to do. So thanks for listening.